So when I was in my early teens, I went through this little crisis uh, in my head is that what does it mean to be a Muslim and why am I a Muslim? Like, am I a Muslim because I was born a Muslim or are there other true religions out there? And what makes Allah one true God? And I was only in my tw I was 12, 13, 14 years old and my mother converted to Islam. So I was exposed to other traditions. My first cousins being Hindus, having a lot of Christians around me. I, it, these questions really genuinely bugged me. So I would read the translation of the Quran and I wouldn't understand much if I'm honest, but it, it did kind of lead to more questions. I was questioning the idea of fate and, and how do we understand this kind of concept. These questions bugged me so much, but I felt so scared going to an imam or going to my local masjid and uh, verbalizing my thoughts because I was scared somebody may class to me as a non-Muslim or a heretic. And when you're in your teens and you're young, you don't understand life properly. So I, I actually kind of went through this crisis and I wasn't necessarily attracted to any other religion. It was just that, which God am I supposed to believe in? And what makes Allah the one true God? So at 16, when I finished and I got some decent GCSE grades and my father's telling me to be a dentist, I thought, you know what, put, put this stuff aside. I need to understand this religion. So I enrolled in a, in a local uh, seminary where I studied for six years, uh, about 12 hours a day. Uh, I memorized the Quran there. I, I focused on tafsir, hadith, understanding the Arabic language, philosophy. And it was about, when I was about 17, 18 years old, where I can fully say that I felt comfortable with my Islam. Uh, you know what? Yeah, this religion makes sense to me. And I actually want to be a Muslim. And when I was reading verses of the Quran, Allah says, وَبِلْ أَخِرَةِهُمْ يُقِينُونَ In the Baqarah, Allah says, those who believe in Allah are those who, have, who are convinced of the Akhirah. Like you actually have a conviction. Like, ask yourself, do you actually believe in the Akhirah? And if we do, then how much of that belief is then reflected in our everyday life? And that conviction comes from a rational understanding. It's not just a blind leap of faith when it comes to Islam, I feel. I read a verse of the Quran where Ibrahim alayhi salam, and this, this, this verse really blew me away, where Ibrahim alayhi salam says, Rabbi arini al mawta. He asks God, Oh Allah, show me how you give life to something that's dead. Allah says, Qala Abu Lam Tu'min, don't you believe? And this is Ibrahim alayhi salam who is who's, who's conversing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who's receiving wahi, but he still wants to build his conviction. And Allah says, don't you believe? He says, Bala wa la inna qalbi. Of course, oh Allah, I do. But I, I want this peace and this sense of tranquility in my heart. Because he wanted to build his conviction. Now, if that's how a prophet felt, then imagine how much we have to invest in our own faith to fully appreciate, understand, and rationalize, and be convinced that Islam genuinely is the truth. Now, I, why I'm making this video is that I don't want our young people to kind of feel lonely or feel left out or with this new age aggressive atheism with Sam Harris and Dawkins and when people read kind of funny stuff online or watch a YouTube video that attacks Islam and we have this kind of existential crisis. Question your Islam. Honestly, there's nothing wrong in questioning Islam, but at least have the same kind of spirit and motivation to find answers to those questions. I find many people just kind of coast through life and being Muslim is just part of our passive identity, but we don't fully appreciate and understand what it means to be a Muslim. Like, what does your Islam mean to you? If you were born a Hindu, for example, would you have remained a Hindu and converted to Islam? What makes Islam any more truer than any other tradition or faith? And I feel a lot of Muslims, and I'm saying this openly, sometimes are even like closet agnostics, where you're just a Muslim because you inherited it. It's like a hereditary thing. And we don't go through that kind of crisis. I'm not saying everyone has to experience it, but when you see a convert to Islam, they've already gone through that phase. And when they come to Islam, they find such pieces because intellectually they actually are convinced that this religion makes sense. And I find a lot of Muslims just, like I said, just coast through life and they don't go through all of this kind of questioning and understanding. So questioning Islam is not necessarily heretical or bad. I think, in fact, it's something which is important for us to fully appreciate our tradition and then reach out to people of knowledge. Snapchat me, Instagram me, message me on Facebook, anything. You, anybody is welcome. Muslim, non-Muslim, male, female, I don't care. If you have any questions and I can answer and help you to the best of my ability, ask away. But my point is that you guys are not alone, especially when I have young teens dealing with these kind of questions. There are parts of our tradition which are sometimes difficult to fully appreciate and understand. But when like-minded people try to articulate and express those kind of reservations that you also have, it kind of helps us make sense. And we're all in this struggle together. So in order to grow into your Islam, I believe you have to fully appreciate this tradition and sometimes go through that crisis. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. So if you have any questions, you guys, you're more than welcome to reach out, inshallah.